Hey everyone, my name is Eason. Welcome to the first video review of Hungry Geeks. To kick off this episode, we have here the comeback brand of 2016. Meet the Moto Z from Motorola, the flagship that can transform in a snap. The Moto Z is the company's flagship smartphone this 2016. This 5.5-inch smartphone is ridiculously thin at only 5.2 millimeters. The front and the back are made of glass, though the back has three-piece glass assembly for better signal reception. The sides are made of metal with minimal curves. You'll feel an edgy feeling when you hold the sides, which is a bit worrying but you'll get used to it. At the front, you have speakers and earpiece combined, along with a 5-megapixel f2.2 camera with LED flash. Plus, on the bottom is the fingerprint sensor. Unfortunately, it doesn't act as a power button or a home button, but we'll explain later why is it useful. At the back is a 13-megapixel camera with f1.8 aperture, dual LED flash, laser autofocus, and optical image stabilization. Though the camera definitely protrudes at the back, something that isn't protected when you don't have any casing. Further down is the special contact grille and magnets for the Moto Mod. At the bottom is a USB Type-C connection. Unfortunately, due to the thinness of the phone, it has no 3.5mm audio jack. The screen is an AMOLED Quad HD or 2K resolution screen with 535 pixels per inch. It's fairly crisp and sharp especially for entertainment purposes. You don't have to worry everyday scratches as it is also protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 4. At the performance division, it is still respectable with the Snapdragon 820 processor, Adreno 530 GPU, 4GB of RAM, and 64GB of storage with expandable slot. Powering all this is a slightly downsized 2600mAh to accommodate the 5.2mm body. Now let's talk about the Moto Mod. The Moto Z has a special contact grill and magnets for the Moto Mod. This enables special mods to be attached at the back to instantly power up the smartphone. Right now, Motorola Philippines brought 5 enhancing mods, the Hasselblad True Zoom, Moto InstaShare Projector, NCPO Off-Grid Power Jack, JBL Sound Boost, and the Moto Style Back Covers. The Moto Z offers a more intuitive experience using powerful magnets. Magnets are located on both top and bottom of the smartphone. Once you attach your mod, it will clip there nice and secure. In our test experience, we didn't encounter any sudden detachment all throughout. The Moto Style back cover included in our package was a wood-like finish. There are more designs available which we like for personalization. Now, when using the Moto Mods like the JBL Sound Boost we have, it's simply as removing the cover and replacing it. The JBL Sound Boost is our favorite Moto Mod as it gives stereo speakers with 6 watts of power. It even has its own kickstand to provide entertainment ease. Listen to the difference here. The JBL Sound Boost has a 1000mAh battery which is independent from the phone's battery. You can also charge it separately through its own USB Type-C port. It adds a chunky 13mm thickness to the phone but we still find it ergonomic to hold because of its curved sides. Now when it comes to UI, we really love the stock UI of the Moto. Inheriting its experience when they were bought by Google, Moto provides a vanilla experience of Android Marshmallow. Aside from Moto Mods, Moto Display, and Moto Actions, we didn't see any other bloatware making it fast and fluid to experience. Moto Display is a delight. It's an additional layer on top of the lock screen to quickly see your notifications, to avoid keeping your phone on and off. Additional IR sensors are at the sides of the fingerprint scanner. It helps detect if you are glancing on the phone or keeping it on your pocket. The IR sensors are also responsible for quick action gestures like chopping your hand twice to open the flashlight, twisting your phone twice to open the camera app, or twisting it twice to switch the camera from front to rear or vice versa. Though we have a bit confusing fingerprint sensor, though it's not a button unlike the other smartphones, this makes it confusing to lock and unlock the phone especially if you are coming from a smartphone with physical home buttons. Fortunately, Moto solved this by unlocking and locking your phone using the fingerprint scanner, so you won't have to access two buttons just to unlock or lock your smartphone. The camera is a great challenger. 
we were actually surprised of the Moto Z's camera performance. The 13 megapixel f1.8 aperture rear camera with laser autofocus delivers crisp, clear, and snappy photos. In our early stages of our experience, we got to take some impressive action shots that has great color, balanced light, and sharp details. Macro shots are also impressive along with its 5 megapixel front camera with LED flash. Selfies are good with beautification mode even at dark conditions. We also love that the live preview on the camera is fast and has the almost the same quality as taken on the photo, making it better to appreciate the camera. Of course, with every smartphone, there are also downsides. So far, the only downside we saw is the fast depleting battery. The 2600 mAh battery simply cannot withstand our heavy usage scenario of everyday 4G connection, giving us around 5 to 6 hours before looking for a charger. Though it comes with a Motorola Turbo Power Charger that can fully charge the device more or less in an hour, just make sure that you have the proprietary charger with you, as the lack of 3.5mm audio jack made us adjust. Though we have mostly Bluetooth devices everywhere, we have the USB Type-C adapter to 3.5mm jack when we are on our car to play music. And yes, there was a time when we need to charge and play music at the same time. Fortunately, the JBL Sound Boost Moto Mod saved our problem as it can play music promptly inside our car. While the Moto Z is a great flagship smartphone as it is, we recommend buying it only on two needs. One, if you really need a smartphone that's really thin. We've heard this a lot from our friends that they want a smartphone with an ultra portable body. By all means, we recommend you to get the Moto Z. And for the second reason is if you need one of the Moto mods, whether it's for display, sound, battery, camera enhancement, or personalization, then we do recommend the Moto Z. You can get the Moto Z with 64GB of storage in the Philippines for 33999 while the Moto Mods ranges from 699 all the way to 14999 If you want to collect all Moto Mods, prepare to shell out around 75,000 pesos in total. If the price is too steep, you might want to consider the more affordable Moto Z Play that also works with all Moto Mods. At the end, we highly recommend the Moto Z. By far, it's one of the most fluid, snappy, and intuitive smartphones that we have experienced this year. Pair that with the Moto Mods feature, we give it our recommendation of 100% satisfaction for a modular smartphone. And that's our review for the Moto Z. If you like our review, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel as we make more videos like this. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to get the latest updates from Hungry Geeks. Hit us on the comment section below if you have any question about our review. That's it for now. I'm Ethan of Hungry Geeks. See you next episode.